We are here at Arlington's Department of Public Health to talk to Director Christine Connolly. She's going to give us more information about this year's large population of mosquitoes, as well as what we can do to fend off these insects. Why do you think the population of mosquitoes is larger this year than um, previous years? Um, well, what we know is that mosquitoes breed in water and we've had a significant amount of rain this year. Um, what we've seen is that our wetland areas have expanded quite substantially uh, over the past few months as a result of the spring rains. Um, so we think that the increase obviously is related to that. What do they need to reproduce and multiply that we have here? Yeah, uh, so the mosquitoes that we look at that carry West Nile virus and Eastern equine encephalitis, uh, they, they typically need a, a wet environment. Um, what we find here in Arlington, we have more city dweller type mosquitoes. So we have the mosquitoes that breed in very small pots of water that carry West Nile virus. We don't typically find the Eastern equine encephalitis mosquitoes because they typically breed in more swampy, marshy areas such as eastern, uh, southeastern Massachusetts. So here in Arlington, we have the mosquitoes that, um, that, that carry West Nile virus and they need just a very small amount of water undisturbed for three to four days. Um, Usually when it's warm, typically warm and humid, such as the weather we're experiencing now, um, together with, with water, um, that's really the ideal environment. So is the mosquitoes, are there just mosquitoes in Arlington, more of them, or are they everywhere in Mass? They're everywhere in Massachusetts. So we um, know that based on the, the most recent report from the Department of Public Health, that on June, June 25th, which is one of the earliest uh, dates uh, in the past 10 years that we've actually found West Nile virus in a mosquito pool. So we know that based on the early date, we'll have a higher uh, incidence going forward of um, m mosquitoes that are carrying the disease. So you, mes you mentioned West Nile virus. What is West, West Nile virus? <laughs> West Nile virus is um, a virus that has been uh, found to cause flu-like symptoms in um, people when uh, people are bitten. The uh, virus is spread person, um, is actually the virus is spread to people through mosquito bites um, and it's spread around the region by birds. Um, so the mosquito bites a bird, a bird will have the virus, another mosquito will bite the bird uh, and that's how it's spread into the mosquito populations and then it's, it's spread into the human population that way. Um, there have been deaths related to um, West Nile virus. Typically, the elderly are at higher risk of dying. Um, children will, will also become very ill, may have to be hospitalized. Um, a healthy um, middle-aged person typically uh, you know, may experience flu-like symptoms. It's rare that a death will occur. Um, whereas with eastern equine encephalitis, which is the mosquito-borne disease that's found in southeastern Massachusetts and areas that have a swampy um, a swampy makeup in the community. Um, that's a disease that can cause paralysis and can um, can hit anyone of any age and can cause uh, you know anything up to death. So what's the state in Arlington doing to put down the amount mm -hmm. of mosquitoes? So <laughs> we we try our best. We have um, a, a very wide um, net that we cast. Basically, what we do is we work collaboratively with. Um, the Eastern Middlesex Mosquito Control Project. Um, that's a regional project that really looks at community, you know, all of the communities that surround Arlington. And what we do is we apply little pellets that we've dropped down into the catch basins, which are, um, the catch basins are, are basically the round uh, grates on the ground that when you look in, there's water in the bottom. We know that there are a, a very high percentage of mosquitoes that actually breed in those, those pools of water. So we treat every catch basin in Arlington. And here in Arlington we have 4,400 catch basins that are treated. So that's done in Arlington and in pretty much every community that's in the project. Um, and then we also we do a, a tremendous amount of education with residents. So if there's um, a home that has an abandoned swimming pool, we'll typically we'll get a report from a, a resident. And those are those are reports that we receive from residents on a pretty regular basis. Um, and we'll go out and we'll actually treat the pool, or we'll contact the neighbor to uh, we'll contact the resident um, that owns the pool to remove the, the source of standing water. Um, and we also do a lot of education with the community based on removing sources of standing water so that you know, if they have a bird bath on their property that they remove the water every three to four days. Um, if they have old tires that they remove the water because mosquitoes only need a very small amount of water to breed in. 
um, children's toys. If, you know, after a rain, there are children's toys in the backyard and they're collecting water, uh, removing those as well. Um, what we do urge people to do is to wear mosquito repellent because that's really the best way to protect yourself. Um, and that's recommended during the dawn and dusk, so in the early morning and the evening. What we've seen recently is that there are also biting mosquitoes during the day. Uh, and it's, you know, we're, we're suggesting that residents um, really focus on the two, the dawn and dusk, because that's when we know that the, the mosquitoes that carry the diseases are out there biting. Where could people go for more information about all this? They can go to the Massachusetts Department of Public Health website. I hope you learned information that will help protect you against these insects. This is Gayatri and Jay Minasundarajan reporting for Arlington Public News.